super excited. Thank you, Patty and Barbie, for having me here as well. And Denda, thank you for coming all the way from L.A. Thank for all you. these fans. Thank you. It's great. I love coming down to Florida. Every time I come down here, I feel like I'm back in Australia. I you know, it's, it's so much like Queensland, and it's just the people are great, and just I love the weather. I love everything about it. We have kangaroos over at the Bush Gardens. Yeah, I know. There's, there's apparently there's a battle between the kangaroos and the alligators. It's a, it might be the new ice hockey team down here. It'd be like the... Uh, yeah. You know, the clear water kangaroos. That would be really fun. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Anyways, while you're here, I have a lot of uh, people from that are actors, producers, agents, casting directors on my show, major stars as well. And uh, since you, uh, what, how did you get your first break, you know, back in the days and getting your first agent? Um, in America, which is a different ball game, uh, I started in Australia doing a soap opera there. And then when I moved to the U.S., I started from scratch again because I didn't want to be an Australian coming over. So, um... I, I basically uh, approached it as if I hadn't worked before, and I want to do it that way. Um, it takes a long time. You you originally just start going after a lot of non-union work, exactly. um, and then from there uh, you find a good acting teacher, a, a good class. Where did you go? I went to uh, a couple of schools. I went to one, there was one called uh, I trained in Australia formerly at, at the Ensemble Act, Ensemble Actors Studio. Um, then out here I went to uh, Cameron Thor, who's in Los Angeles, he's very good, uh, has a lot of good actors, that, they've done a lot of movies, uh, he's been in Spielberg movies himself, and then I was with another guy, uh, John Kirby, whose brother was Bruno Kirby, a very good actor who's been in Goodfellas, uh, he was in The Godfather, uh, exceptional actor. Um, and the most important thing you can do is just get a class and then start just perfecting it. I mean, it's like anything, if you want to be a, an athlete, you have to practice the sport you want to be good at. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about partying and going out trying to just meet people. You have to have, when, when opportunity uh, and, and comes, you have to have the preparation. Right. You know, otherwise, you know, it's like any chance. When you get that chance, you have to be ready for the chance. And you have to find your passion. You know, you're an actor, and this is right. what you wanted to do. Mine was, uh, you know, I had uh, Santa's List. I had an office in Hollywood on Hollywood and Vine. Right, right, right. Did a lot of casting myself. So, you know, that's important. And giving great advice to new actors that want to, you know, try out and, uh, you know, get out there and, and try it. You know, yeah. what do you have to lose? Uh, you, you have nothing to lose because I know a lot of people I meet, they'll say, I always wished I'd try it. And I said, well, you know, it's never too late. Exactly. So it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter you know, what it is in life you want to do, whether it be acting or even golf, it doesn't matter if you stand on this beautiful uh, golf course. Mm -hmm. you know, if you love something, then you'll be good at it. Exactly. You know, there's no point in doing something to make other people happy, you have to make yourself happy. Number one, that's life goes so fast. Also, do you read your social media? Are you yes. Twitter? Um, you do? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Uh, on Instagram, I'm at the Daniel Goddard, not because I'm the Daniel Goddard, but <laughs> someone else had my name, so I did that. Twitter, just Daniel Goddard. Um, I, I, the great thing about social media is it allows us mm -hmm. to connect directly with our fans, right. um, which is important because you know you have a career because of fans, right. and you know I, I love meeting the fans. I love talking to them. So, you know, if you're watching this, send me a tweet, send me an Instagram, uh, post me a comment or something, and uh, you know I'd love to get back to you and stay in touch because you know it's important. I think that. It's a very difficult job to succeed at acting. Mm -hmm. um, it takes, it, it, it's success by attrition pretty much, you know, which was Harrison Ford's, uh, his mantra, you know, that you eventually, if you keep going long enough, you'll succeed. Right. As long as you adapt and you constantly try to learn and get better, you know, if it's, mm -hmm. uh, you just don't, don't get discouraged. Don't let, don't let people say you're not right, you're not good. Um, and it's not personal. You know, if you go for an audition, you don't get it. It was never personal. It was just, you weren't right for that part. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I heard through the grapevine, because my brother has a show called The Man Cave, and we're, we're looking for man caves. No. And <laughs> would you ever think you're going to have a man cave? Yeah, actually, I'm in the process of doing it with the boys. You know, turning, it, turning a, a room into a man cave. And, uh, you know, it's great, because i got two boys nine, uh, who are 9 and 12. And, oh, that's uh, such a great... I have three that are grown now, but oh I three boys, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a great, you know, Josh Morrow who plays Nick on the show, has a man cave. And, uh, <laughs> you know, because you always find yourself, you know, putting everybody else first. And finally, when you have your own little area or something, it's, you know, you and the kids get to you know, play video games and watch sports and That's stuff right. and hang out. My brother actually just did his uh, little shed in the tool shed into right. a man cave, which is like a, like a Jimmy Buffett bar. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you yeah. go. And That's right. Me and Igor are going to go out and find the man caves and the she caves, too. Right. <laughs> 
any other last words? Uh, anything to Patty and uh, and uh, Barbie uh, from the heart? Oh, always. I mean, I've, this is my, my seventh year. I think I've done events now with Patty wow. and Barbie, and you know, I love coming down. I love coming down, and seeing them. They're just wonderful, and uh, you know, everybody involved. You know, who who helped them and John and just you know, it just it's it, yeah, it's a team effort. You know, and I appreciate. You're coming and just down. talking to the fans that just watch you all the time. That's so. Uh, that's that's from the heart. And I'll tell yeah, you, that's absolutely, absolutely, because there's nothing more important, you know, as I mentioned earlier, than the fans we have. That's because right. without the fans, what would we have? We wouldn't have anything. So you know, right. guys, really grateful, and uh, I wish you all the best in whatever you want to do. Stay in touch, say hello, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Awesome. And real quick, I uh, have a reporter that was with Container War. She's, I have reporters all over the United States. That's my mm -hmm. business. And uh, if she can maybe meet with you and interview you again. Yeah. Uh, she actually, Deanna Mole uh, is amazing, and uh, she's very famous in Mexico as well. If you ever watch Container Wars, and uh, she's, I'm setting up interviews for her as well. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to get in touch and talk to her. It'd be lovely. That would be great. Be, God, I would love to have Melody Thomas on the air. If you know anybody if that's doing radio interviews, please shout me. <laughs> That's what I watch. Yeah, I want to be is. honest. I want to be honest. Back in the days with my kids, I would watch it continuously. Right. But the last time I want to be honest, I watched Young and Restless was just briefly. But, um, you know, when I think when she married Victor. Which time? <laughs> I think they've done it First like time. 20-something <laughs> time. So, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah there's a lot of, lot of history there. Melody's a lovely lady. Oh and, uh, yeah, she's fun. Well, we thank you so much for Thanks. listening and watching Hollywood Connections, 106.1 FM, VH2 TV Network, and 24 Flicks TV in Orlando. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. It's been, I know I just tried to get to you, and I know everybody there for.